Hey, everybody, it's me, Eric. Um, not King ETL or any other internet persona. This is me, just me, you know, talking to you guys. Uh, I bet you've been wondering, you know, why the channel went dead after saying, you know, new house, new opportunities, new content. Well, there's a long answer and a short answer, and if you're clicking on this video, this is going to be the long answer. If you're my friend, I kind of gave you the short answer, but um, I'm going to go into detail with what happened. I want to say it started literally the day after that video went up. By the time this is online, it, I think it's been, what, three or four months? When that video went up, I went to go start editing the next Pokemon video for the upcoming Friday because I try I was putting out if you weren't watching I was putting out Pokemon videos every single Friday and um, if you didn't watch the Pokemon videos there was a uh, there was an ongoing joke that the playthrough was cursed because no matter what we seem to do there was always an issue it was either an issue with the audio or an issue with the video or issue with the gameplay or the issue with the computer. It was always some kind of issue that made the gameplay almost kind of unwatchable. But um, this time was a little bit different. One of our friends was over and uh, we were all having fun. The audio was perfect. Like, in my opinion, we had really good commentary going. And uh, I had did a thing with the mics. The mics audio was clear and crisp. Um... As I said before, I had got a new laptop just for gaming, so the game was running smooth. I was excited, you know, and, uh, well, as the joke curse goes, we've reached another problem. There was an issue with OBS. Now, I don't know if a lot of people use OBS, but OBS is a uh, screen recording thing, you know, it lets you record your laptop screen. I don't think you can see laptop in the shot, but, um... My new laptop, apparently, it has two graphics cards. I didn't know that. I don't know shit about technology. I just wanted a good gaming laptop. That's literally what I put in when I bought this. I didn't know that. Apparently, OBS can fuck up when you have two graphics cards. It did before, and me and Omari spent, like, I want to say three hours fixing it. This time, we thought we had it fixed. You know what I'm saying? We thought it was running perfect. Turns out it wasn't. It was a mistake on our end. We for we didn't click something correct on OBS. We had it recording the screen, but we didn't have it like set to like record all the screen apparently. Like um you will see it. I'll post a clip of what happened with the Pokemon videos like right here so you can see what happened. Okay, if you can, if you saw that and you see, you've seen what was going on here, we had it set to just record, not record the entire thing. So whenever we opened up a new window and went full screen, the actual OBS screen did not zoom out. It stayed focused at that one point. So the Pokemon videos were all messed up. And if we're being 100% honest, it made me so depressed. I was so hurt. And, um, yeah, that was the real first start of it. I got really, really depressed. Um, and I know depression is something that everyone is going through and everyone talks about and it can affect work, but that was the first part. Usually, you know, you get depressed, you say, okay, you, you get through it and you go do other stuff, but that wasn't the end for Eric. No. Eric has been having a really fucked up four months. Next, out of the blue, a hundred percent out of the blue, I started getting these crazy migraines. And when I say crazy migraines, my head was hurting to the point where I fainted once before, just completely fainted. I had to miss work because of my headaches. I was at the hospital like three different times. 
And they were like, well, you don't got no brain tumors. You don't got, you're not having a seizure or nothing. We're not 100% sure what's wrong. You need to see a head specialist, right? I put in an appointment with a head specialist. They told me they couldn't see me until the next month, the next month. So I had to go through an entire month with headaches before I could see somebody. And I find that to be messed up, like not to fall off of this story, but I feel like it's messed up that the American healthcare system is at a point where the ER can't exactly tell you what's wrong. Like, I know they're in the emergency room and everything, but it's still just messed up to be like, hey, we got you stable. Now get out of here. You want to figure out why this keeps happening? Go see somebody. Like, I feel like that's fucked up. Or maybe if it's like, like if it's something as serious as c- constant migraines, it should be something where as like, I don't know, like maybe an emergency doctor or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it's fucked up to tell somebody you have to wait more like a month or so, right? So that was the beginning. I was coping. I was dealing with the headaches, taking a bunch of different medications just to get through the day and go to work every day. And, uh... I thought that was going to be it, but it wasn't. Things could get worse from there. I started getting these weird stomach aches. And everybody has had a stomach ache before, but these were worse. These were cramping. This was vomiting. It was to a point, again, where I've had to miss work and go to the hospital a couple of times. And here's where the fucked up part comes in. It started to affect my heart. I started getting stomach aches to the point where it was giving me heart palpitations, where I thought I was having a fucking heart attack. I went to the hospital within the past three months or four months, whatever the fuck, since that last video came out. I want to say I've been to the hospital about 10 different times for three different reasons. And each time they told me I have to see a specialist. You want to know what's really fucked up? I'm still waiting for the stomach specialist. Yeah, I've been waiting almost two months for him. I can't see him until the end of this month. And this video should be up in September. I can't see him till the end of September. And I reached, I seen the head doctor, I seen the migraine doctor last week, and I'd already stopped the migraines now. Now it's just trying to figure out why they were happening. The stomach issue was still there. The ER said it was like extreme acid reflux and GERD. Now, as the reflux runs in my family, I already knew about that, but it's never been this bad before. It's never affected my heart before. It's never made me feel like I am dying. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've been incredibly lightheaded. I'm lightheaded right now, if we're being honest. I've been lightheaded to the point where my vision is blurry. And that's bad because I'm a delivery driver. I'm not saying for where, but I, I do most of my work driving, so it's bad to be driving with blurry vision headaches constantly stomach is in pain i can't eat i can literally almost eat nothing and still get a stomach ache i was drinking water and still getting a stomach ache like fuck um and then the heart palpitations it's been a really fucked up three to four months for me and i have no idea why like, I feel like I'm cursed, if we're being honest. I feel like I am cursed at this point. It's not just a playthrough. But um, if you want to know where has the channel been, this is why. I haven't been feeling well enough to do anything. Like, um, I just seen the neurologist, right? She was like, well, you haven't been having your headaches in the last couple of weeks, you know. So uh, we're going to start, you know, like a visit every couple of weeks. And I'm emailing her days where the headaches are bad or days when the dizziness are bad and she's like trying to figure out what to do and how to help me right stomach doctor i was actually supposed to see him this week earlier this week but i get a call from a nurse saying the doctor decided to close the clinic so i had to be pushed back until the next available day which was three weeks later and i also feel like that's fucked up like how can you just close a clinic? Like, I understand doctors have lives and everything, but we're in a situation where I honestly feel like my health is in an emergency state. And the emergency team is telling me all they can do 
to stabilize me, to find out the root of the problem, to find out why it's happening every day, I have to see a specialist. So I feel like that's an emergency. That's what specialists should be for. But then to have your specialist say, hey, I can see you, but you got to wait one or two months. Like, I did some fucked up shit. And I guess this is some fucked up American shit. <laughs> but it's been it's been a lot. It's been a hell of a lot. And you can bet this does not do well for my depression whatsoever. Like, I'm not exaggerating or joking when I say I feel like I've been dying. Like, I will be sitting here. They're randomly my heart starts racing. I had to buy a blood pressure tester and a heart, like a heart monitor thing. My heart was beating at 143 beats per minute and I was panicking. And my mom is just like, it's the heart palpitation. You just got to calm down. So I had to lay on the floor with a warm rag on my chest, doing some deep breathing exercises until it stopped. And I want to know why. And the ER can't tell me why. I got to wait till next week to see a heart specialist to figure out why my heart keeps doing this. I, 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 it's it's not a heart attack. They told me my heart vessels are clear. They told me at a CAT scan and a X-ray and all my heart and heart tubes are fine. But why the fuck am I having heart palpitations? Can't tell me that. Got to see a specialist. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's been some fuck shit. It's been some really, really bad shit. And really, the the, the best thing through this has been my fiance Jordan. She is the only thing kind of keeping me sane right now. Because, like, it feels like everything is falling apart for your boy, Eric. And I don't want this to be like a like a sob story video or a donate money to my charity video. I mean, if you want to slide your nigga a couple of dollars, I ain't going to be mad at you. My car's breaking down also, and I need that to do my job. But um, in all seriousness, this video is more for an explanation on why I haven't been posting anything. And it's like, it's not like I haven't been doing YouTube work. Like, whenever I was feeling well enough, I might not have been on camera or editing something, but I was like writing scripts like, um... I have a whole script and something recorded for it, this uh this Toy Story thing I wanted to do. And uh I was writing and making a script for this net for the Netflix series Twelve Forever. Uh shit. Ah. <sighs> sorry for the uh sorry for the cutout stomach started cramping again. Like I, I am literally going through hell. Like I haven't really been able to hang out with any of my friends. Like, I've been, you know, keeping them updated and everything, but, like, I haven't been able to really go out anywhere, because, like, honestly, it's been, like, go to work, go home, go to work, go home, go to the hospital, go to work, go to the hospital, go home, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I just want to feel better. <laughs> uh, To wrap this video up before it gets any longer, um... I'm going to try, I'm going to try to get some stuff out there. Um, it's going to be kind of messy. As I said, those Pokemon videos are messed up. There's five messed up Pokemon videos. It's still watchable. It's just like, it's not full screen. It's cropped screen, cropped left corner screen. It's still watchable. I feel like the commentary is good. That's my opinion, you know, as the creator, I guess. And, um, yeah, I'm going to try. Uh, I don't feel good every day and uh, still with this, but I am going to try and put things out there whenever I'm feeling well enough. Like, there's a lot of topics to be done right now, a lot of topics I want to do. Like, like I said, I got that Toy Story thing. I was recording some of it. I could finish recording it. Um, 12 Forever is a thing I want to talk about because that thing is a mess. I mean, like, like, uh, not, not to go to spoiler work into what I was doing, but, um, I don't know if you heard about the behind the scenes of 12 forever, but like 
I suspected something was up when I was first watching it when it first came out. Like, like I didn't expect it was anything that fucked up. I'm being a hundred percent with you. I didn't. I did not want or expect it to be as fucked up as it is. But when I was watching what Twelve Forever was from the original pilot, I was like, something behind the scenes happened for this drastic of a change. But uh, yeah. So um, for everyone who watched this and uh still stayed subscribed and still watches our videos. I want to thank you for, you know, sticking in there and supporting your boy. More videos coming soon. Uh, more game stuff. I'm going to work on Pokemon. Get that out there. We're going to record some new ones and we're going to pray to the gods. We're going to do, we're going to do a fucking test recording to make sure that, that this for Pokemon actually recorded properly before we go into it. Cause we recorded five videos in a row. We sat down, we were having a good time, recorded five in a row. All five are fucked up. And that's like, that's five weeks of messed up videos. If we're still doing the every Friday thing, but, um, yeah, definitely some more game video, some more review video, some more um, things like uh, I've had a fucking skit done. I recorded a skit like fucking last year that I've been trying to put up in uh, like it's a, it's a lot of editing that I want to do to it, which is why it's been taking me a little bit longer. But it's like it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot that I want to do. There's a lot that I'm going to do. Just stick around. Hang in there with your boy. Um. I would, oh, uh, basic. follow me on Twitter. Uh, I know this is a weird time for a plug, but it's like, uh, you know, the channel has a Facebook page, the channel has a Twitter, but I'm not 100% active on the channel Facebook page or Twitter. If you want to see me active, I'm active on my own Twitter, at King underscore ETL, question mark, Eric, later for editing. Yeah, that's me. It's, uh, it's mostly, you know, reblogs and me saying dumb quotes and shit, but, uh, you know, it's at least updates on me being alive. Shit, if I do die, I'm gonna need, I guess I need to make, have somebody make a death video that's kind of dark. <laughs> it's gonna be fucked up, y'all look up one day. So, it's just <laughs> Jordan or Mario on camera, so King ETL has died. His, uh, heart palpitations got the better of him. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, this is getting long and depressing. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Peace.